Welcome. In this video, we will see how to use a MySQL as a Hive backend database. By default, the Hive Meta Store stores all Hive metadata in an embedded Apache Derby database in MapR file system. Derby only allows a single user to access the Meta Store at a time. To use Hive with more than one user, you have to set up a MySQL as a backend database. In advance, be ready with Linux machine, which is a part of Hadoop cluster. Hadoop is running. MySQL database is configured. Hive 0.8.1 downloaded. So let us start with most important part that is configuration of Hive site XML file. Create a Hive site.xml file in the conf folder of Hive directory. We have already done it. Add following properties. Specify the host address the Hive web interface will listen on. Specify the port the Hive web interface will listen on. Default value is 9999. We have changed it to 10,000. To use a local store, keep default value true. Mention JDBC connect string for JDBC meta store. In our case, metadata is stored in a MySQL server where meta store underscore DB is the database name. Tell Hive to connect to MySQL database via MySQL JDBC driver. Specify the username for connecting to MySQL server in our case, Hadoop. Specify the password for connecting to MySQL server we have given as Hadoop. Specify the URI of default location for Hive tables. Default value is true. This property creates a necessary schema on a startup if one doesn't exist. Set this to false after creating it once. Specify whether the data store is fixed in structure or not. We set it as true, which means we don't want to allow updates to the structure at all. We are done with Hive site XML file configuration. Now let us create a table structure in Hive. For that, access Linux machine through Putty. Switch user to Hadoop, which we have already created. Go to Hive bin folder. Start Hive. Create a table structure records which will include records for year, temperature and quality. Mention that table is row format delimited and also terminated by tab. Thus the table is created. Again access Linux machine through new putty session. Login to MySQL database for which we need to provide host name, username and password. View existing databases in MySQL. Access metastore underscore db database which we have already created. Fire the command to see the tables list. As we can notice the table records is updated in MySQL database. Thus we have successfully configured MySQL as Hive backend database. Thank you.